Hello people and welcome to the A10A TAC Pack block update. This tutorial is going to show you the basics of using the TAC Pack update. We are going to cover how to load aircraft, your aircraft, how to get your aircraft into a mode that will allow it to drop bombs and fire the gun, how to set up your flares, turn the radar warning receiver on and use the targeting pod. So let's get started. First off you will need to press shift 3 and bring up the loadout manager. To use this you simply click on the items you want to put on the aircraft. A click on any other item will remove the current store and then another click will add the new store you wish to add. For the purpose of this we're going to load Snake Eyes onto our outer hard points, Mavericks onto our station 3 and 9, Rockets onto 4 and 8 snake eyes onto 7 and 5. We're going to load a targeting pod onto station 6. We're going to set our laser code and our mode 4 code. With that done we can hit shift 3 again and close that out. Now before we take off we're going to set up a couple of things on our aircraft. First we're going to set our chaff release mode to manual single and our flare to manual single. We're going to then go back to the top here and we're going to turn the power on for our radar warning receiver. Finally we're going to turn the equipment power on for our weapon stations. This will start the timers for our, our AGMs and our targeting pod. You should be aware that these take approximately four to six or so minutes to warm up and the timers are separate for each. The last thing we're going to do is turn on the power for our TV monitor. It will say not timed out at the moment because the targeting pod is not yet ready. Now I'm going to pause for a moment and get the aircraft into the air and then we will look at the next part. Alright, we are now airborne. So, we're going to look at the various items for making our weapons usable. First off, we have three HUD weapon modes. Weapon Delivery 1 Weapon Delivery 2 and Expanded. Weapon Delivery 1 sets your HUD into this mode. You have a fixed pipa, gun pipper, which is capable of being moved up and down from manual ranging using shift up and shift down. This key combination works for the ranging on all HUD modes. Secondly, with a weapon selected, or rather a bomb, shift C will shift you into CCIP mode and the shift P will move you back into manual. This again works on all three modes. In weapon delivery 2 or EXP mode, first off your gun pipper is a gyro sight and secondly, shift right will turn you into rocket mode and shift left will turn you into gun sight mode. The differences between these is that the gun pipper will range for the item selected. Now, to use your weapons, you need to first turn your master arm on and your gun rate to high rather than safe. At this point you can use your trigger mapped key to fire the gun. 
you'll notice that while you're firing the gun, the CCIP information does go away. As shown. Now, to use a weapon, you must select a release mode. All the release modes are working and we will just we will show you each now we will start with a single release mode what this will do it will drop a single bomb off so in our case we're going to drop a single mark 82 snake eye to do this we turn we roll in, we put the gun pit, the CCIP pit bar down the bottom there over our target, making certain that these two numbers are correct. This number is how long your right here is how long your bomb will be in flight and this number is how long it takes to arm. So the first number always wants to be greater than the second number. Once that's done, pressing your pickle will cause a weapon to release. You can confirm that it's released by looking down here. It now shows that we are empty and it has stepped us to the next station. Pairs release mode will drop two weapons off our aircraft and you can see this quite simply by if we switch to an external view and if I hit the pickle button again two weapons will leave the aircraft. Switching back, we will now move to ripple pairs and to, just to show how this works we will switch to our rockets. It works with all ordnance though I do not suggest using it with the Mavericks. First off you need to select a quantity. This quantity number is for whatever value you're in. So if you're in ripple pairs, it is the number of pairs you wish to launch. If you're in singles, it's the number of singles you wish to launch. And we must set an interval. For the purpose of this, I'm going to set it to the highest interval. Now, I've set it to, to ripple four pairs off. So if I press the pickle button, and if I switch to rocket, so if I now press the pickle button, we'll get a small pause because it's the first time I'm loading. You'll notice we had four sets come off. Ripple single works more or less the same, but will I, but you must hold the ripple the pickle button down. in a consent to release manner. So that covers the release modes. Next we are going to look at using the targeting pod and pave penny system. The targeting pod is used by pressing sh control, shift and left. It will activate the symbology that you see on the HUD now. And Pave Penny, which, is a, which will allow you to passively check where a laser is being displayed and defaults to the HUD to using the targeting pod sensor when available. 
uses Control, Shift and P and you'll get a second symbology agent. To slew the targeting pod you press Control up to begin the movement this will allow you to use your arrow keys to slew the pod once you have a target so we will turn here and see if we can't find a nice target we're going to use this area just where these fields meet we can press control and up again and it will ground stabilize another control and up will start a laser designation again you'll get a pause the first time you do this and you'll notice that our Tissel target move to it. We do get some movement with the heart, with the targeting pod at the moment. I do not know what's causing this. It is an experimental feature. If you need to fix it, you can press simply press Control and down, and then Control and up again to redesignate. So, to employ a Maverick, we need to first designate a target, or have somebody else do it for us. Which point we can laze, select a Maverick, and fire. But given we have um, just overshot our target, we're going to have to select another one. Control down multiple times will step back through your targeting pod options. One other option you have is to hit shift, control and up. This will put you in hard targeting mode, symbolised by the little box. This is literally a boresight designation mode. So it's put it over the target press control and up and it will put the target and lock the targeting pod pressing delete will then laze and pickling will fire an AGM you'll notice if you reach the gimbals it locks and it brings you up the masking option telling you that you cannot currently fire. One thing to note when using the HUD mode is the targeting pod will not sluice back to bore sight mode. If you need it back there, switch to the targeting pod mode and then back. So to show that again we will quickly select the target we have our AGMs selected. We are in release mode pairs. Not the best thing to be in when releasing Mavericks, but they will track both. You'll notice we've had good hits. One other thing you should be aware is that you can, when you are in the targeting pod, you can zoom it in and out using control left and control right. This will change your zoom level. Finally, Chaff and Flare. Chaff is launched by pressing C. There is no visual model for Chaff 
intact pack so you do not see it. Flares are launched using the F key. There is a visual model for these and if you go to your external view you should see them coming off. The radar warning receiver works similar to the superbugs and other ones. I will spawn in a SAM site and show you how this works. Okay, so I've just spawned a SAM site at Boise Airport in front of us. We are going to look now. We can see that we've picked up a ground threat target. It's currently in search mode. There is the chance that because we are so close it will instantly go from search to launch, which it just did. You'll notice it's just launched on us. We have a missile inbound and the missile has gone straight into tracking. So we basically would want to try and avoid it. I'm not going to do the best job at the moment. I'm just pumping out some chaff and some flare. I'm actually expecting to die. It's more just showing you how the radar warning receiver works. The big one to remember is that the radar warning receiver will be locked onto whatever is the current homing signal. So in this case we're being tracked primarily by the radar at Boise Air Terminal. You can turn off the sounds for these as I've pointed out using the three buttons here. I prefer to leave them on most of the time. But that covers all of the tack pack basics. I hope that you find this useful and you enjoy the work and effort that has been put in by myself and the team on the A-10. Thank you.